Now to the 26 year old murder case that we've been following in Washington County. Yeah, really, it happened 26 years ago. Billy Lee Oatney Jr. was accused of raping and killing a Lake Oswego woman named Susie Larson just weeks before her wedding. Yesterday, the jury found Oatney guilty of first degree murder. Judge Beth Roberts sentenced Oatney to life without the possibility of parole. Prosecutors said it was one of the oldest murder cases they've ever had to retry. Yeah, retry. Before we get into that, though, some quick background. Susie Larson knew her killer through her roommate. Odie had offered to make some jewelry for her upcoming wedding. Instead, he beat her, raped her, killed her, broke into her apartment and stole her stuff, and then used her ATM card to steal her money. So, yeah, real sweetheart of a guy. This was actually his second trial. The first ended with a conviction, too, way back in 1998. But the Court of Appeals later ruled that a bunch of the testimony in that case should not have been allowed. The prosecutor at the time gave Oatney immunity to share what he knew, so he blamed the murder on his friend. And then after hearing that from police, the friend turned around and blamed Oatney and also took a plea deal to avoid the death penalty. Now, part of that plea deal was to testify against Oatney. The Court of Appeals said that testimony should not have been let in. It should have been blocked. And because of that, they tossed Oatney's conviction. This new trial involved a lot less evidence. A lot was excluded by the appeals court ruling, and some witnesses had died, and others had fading memories. But the Washington County prosecutors made their case anyway, and the jury convicted Oatney. But that was only the first step. Susie Larson's loved ones then urged the judge to make sure that Oatney stayed in prison until he died. Here's Larson's former fiance, Keith Hipley, speaking during Oatney's sentencing yesterday. Your Honor, 26 years ago, I was engaged to marry a wonderful, beautiful woman, Susie Larson. And this man to our left took her from me and from all of us in the prime of her life. <clears throat> he had absolutely no moral compunction in doing so. It was a fulfillment of his sick fancies. And not only did he take Susie's life <clears throat> in an exceptionally cruel, drawn out way, and then steal her things, steal her money. <clears throat> but then, evidence has been shown that he was about to do it again with that bag of murder and rape instruments. This man here is in perfectly good shape to go and do it again. And he probably wants to. He has sat there and shown not one ounce of remorse <clears throat> or care about Susie or any of us. And I think that if there ever was a crime to deserve the punishment of life without parole, it's this one. And I urge you to put him away for life, true life, because if you don't, in three years, he's going to be out and he's going to be able to do that again. Can you imagine the devastating impact the murder had on his life? Of course, he's not the only one. Susie's cousin, Chris Larson, spoke to the judge as well. But we need you, Your Honor, to do your part. The jury has found Mr. Oatney guilty of the most heinous crime imaginable to the most wonderful person imaginable. My cousin was just not my cousin. My cousin was a month apart from me. She was more like a sister. You've seen and heard all of the wonderful things that Susie brought into everybody's life and they'd be taken away by this person. Make no mistake, Your Honor, you have plenty of evidence to you know in your heart this guy gets out. He will do it again. He looks at the world as potential prey. He's a dangerous individual that never should see the light of day outside the walls of a prison. And I implore you to do your part in concluding the case, making sure that justice is done, not just for Susie, but all other potential Susies. Finally, it was the prosecutor's turn. Bracken McKee is the chief deputy district attorney for Washington County. He told the judge that Oatney is one of the most dangerous men he's ever dealt with. He worried over the weekend about this case. It was almost unimaginable this weekend thinking about if the jury came back on Tuesday morning 
and acquitted this defendant, that um, the court would have no choice but to turn him loose. And he was going to be turned loose on the Portland metro area and in all likelihood um, rape and murder somebody in the next few days. This is just who he is and how he's wired. He is a sick man. Um, but the court now has an opportunity because the jury has given you the tools to do so to make sure that nobody has to worry about this guy again. And I ask you to do that. He is, nobody has ever earned or deserved a life sentence more than Billy Lee Oatney. Thank you. Well, when they were done imploring her, the judge quickly gave Oatney the longest sentence possible, life in prison without the possibility of parole. Oatney's attorney has said he will appeal again.